In this exercise, we have a list of grades from a quiz and we want to find the probabilities of randomly selecting a student that got an A or a B or a C or a D. But first we need to figure out how many of each grade there are and what is the total number of grades. So what we can do first is count the total number of grades or the total number of students. Now we could just scroll down and look at the bottom of the list and see there are 50. However, let's practice with Excel. So we can use Excel to count how many cells there are. We will be using a function in Excel. So that function, we type equals, and it's called the count a function. So if you type count and then a here, this will count how many cells in a certain range are not empty. All you have to do is type in what is that range. So we're starting from B2. So we type B2 and we're doing a range of values or a range of cells. So we do a colon and then we're going all the way down, let's see, to B51. B51, we hit enter and it will count how many cells are not empty in that range. In this case, there's 50 grades, so there's 50 total cells. Now let's count how many A's there are in the class. So we are doing another function, so we type equals, and this is another count function. There's lots of different count functions. When you type in count, you can see all the different count functions. We're doing count if. Now when we do count if, what that does is it will count using a range, it will count how many cells in the range have a specific, they call it a criteria. So we're using that same range, B2 colon to B51, and we put a comma. Now the criteria is we're gonna be counting if there are A's or if the cell says A. Now I'm gonna make a mistake here on purpose. If I just type A like this and I hit enter, it says zero, even though we can see there are not zero A's. The reason why it says zero, if we double click to edit, is because we need to type anything that's a text, like a letter or a word, something that's not a number, we need to type it in quotation marks. So we have to put the A in quotations, if we hit enter, there it shows there are 11 A's in this range. And then we can do the same thing for the B's. So we do equals, we're using the count if function, so we type that range in again, B2 all the way to B51. And the criteria here is we're seeing which grades say B. And we hit enter and we have 13 Bs. Now we can keep typing this. It might be easier just to go up to the text line up here and just copy and paste. So control C and then make sure you hit enter out of here. Otherwise it will start referencing cells you don't want to. And then we can just control V, paste that in, but we wanna edit the B to say C now. Hit enter, now there's 16 Cs. Do the same thing for D here. We can type it up in this text line and do control V, but we change this B criteria to now a D criteria, because that's how we're counting how many Ds there are. So we hit enter, and now we have the total counts for the A's, the B's, the C's, and the D's.